this is part one of a six part series on how to build the Satsuma AMP in my summer car. If you want to see more in the rest of the build guide, click on the top right corner of your screen for the whole playlist. Now, enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to my summer car. This is the Panzerfahrer and this is a little tutorial series on how to, hey doggo, how to build your Satsuma AMP with all the preparation and everything that's important. Anyway, the first three seconds of the raw recording were fucky, my microphone failed and yada yada yada. Anyway, here I just want to show you two mods I'm running, Backpack, aka Carry More, and Mob. On to the on recording. Anyway, I don't expect you to run either of those. If you run Mob, then you are already familiar with MSC Loader and then you can just install other mods very easily. But that's another one for another day. I want to just make sure that you know how to prepare the build of your Satsuma AMP. That's the main car in my summer car that you have to build. How to tune it, how to get it through inspection. Because that's, I mean, that's basically the main gist of the whole game. But it's also the most frustrating part of the whole game. So, um, I already tried recording all that. I made a whole lot of mistakes on my first attempt to record these, the stuff. So this is now my, I think, second attempt, and I hope I'll do better, but first thing, first, first thing you have to do is of course make a new save game, and which, which I expect you already did. You will never see this name again, except for your death card, uh, you know, as far as I know. So let's just begin, you can just, you can just skip the intro, and I'll see you right when the player character is in the house. Alright, welcome to my summer car. Hold on, I need to close. Yeah, what's this? Okay, resume. Okay, there we go. This is where we start the whole stuff. So, uh, you are a 19 year old bo guy who lives at home, obviously. And your parents are in Tenerife. They're on holiday during your summer and their, that note basically says, fix your dad's old car, blah blah blah, your uncle's blue van can be loaned, however he's not there yet. Anyway, we don't need to wait for him to appear to start everything up. Let me just first grab the radio because, trust me, I can't build shit without music. Anyway, we open the door, we see the old Satsuma AMP. The story basically goes the, is that your character was born in this thing. Which is alright, I mean, hey. <laughs> anyway, first thing you want to do is, of course, open those garage doors wide open. You start with 3,000 finished marks. Um, that's, you know, the currency before they got into EU. And you have all the parts you need here. Most of them. and Actually, most of them, you know. However, most of those parts, at least the replaceable ones, will be in bad condition. The first thing you want to do is, uh, first thing I want to do, first of all, is check if the oil pan is damaged. It doesn't seem like it, which is good, because that's going to save you a lot of money. <laughs> and talking about that, money is important. Money, 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 money. Trust me. So, the first thing you want to do is open your parts catalog. I know I said money is important, and you probably want to get out as cheap as possible, but... First thing you want to do is order the following things. First of all, you want to order this thing. Seos Mitari. Mitari. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's the air fuel ratio gauge, basically. That thing is going to be very important for later, in about three or four episodes, when we get the car to run and we start tuning it. That's going to be hell important. So that's the first thing you want to order. And then the ratchet set. Those come out at 908 marks. But don't worry. You will not have to pay that. Till la nuit means order now, obviously, but you don't pay that right now. Just click on it. You have an envelope. Again, I'm just going to pick that thing up. And that's that. So, next thing you want to do <coughs> is walk to the woodshed. Just walk the path I'm walking, and you'll land on the woodshed, where you will find... Well, first of all, on this path, you will find your uncle's holiday present for you, the player. 
Um, it will consist of a turbo badge for your Satsuma, which is, I must say, quite a funny thing, since there's no turbo in this game for the car. Um, some money, and a bottle of hard booze, which, you know, m you might be uh, willing to drink, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's not. Just press F to open it. Okay, there's your name, but it just says drive safely, this is your holiday present, yada yada yada. Press F to open it, put the bottle of booze aside, you have the random gift card for money, the turbo badge, again, I'm just gonna pick that thing up, because... <coughs> Why not? And again, press F on a random gift... That is really random gift money. It's a randomized amount, and in our case, 988 marks. Which is, I think, close to the maximum amount you can have in the random gift money. So, we're already off to a good start. Walking over to the woodshed. Okay, first of all, my frames are dropping like hell, but don't worry about that. Um, you want to take the tractor. The tractor is over there, and you want to, of course, attach it to the trailer. That's important. Because uh, you need money. You, need, you definitely need money to get this whole stuff done. Money is wholly important, as I said. <clears throat> so how the tractor works is basically you just get in there, close the door, enter the driving mode. There you go. For some reason my controls don't work. Hold on, let me just... I can... Oh. I know why. Oh, Windows. Windows 10 is just very funny, isn't it? Anyway, let me just calibrate this shit and then we'll we'll get on the way. Oh, Windows. Alright, there you go, I'm back, and I have finally cal calibrated. I swear, when, I f swear, for some reason my summer car decides sometimes my wheel is joystick number one, sometimes it decides joystick number four, and I'll have to recalibrate all that shit whenever it wants to say, yeah, it's a different joystick from now on. So, anyway, how to start up the tractor, it's quite easy actually, just release the parking brake, Pull the hand throttle and start it up. There you go. Okay, everything works, so let's just get this done. So how this works basically is you have to back up onto the tra trailer to attach it. And again, in preparation to everything, you want to reverse again. Just, let me just attach this real quick. There you go, that's how it goes. And then you want to reverse the trailer into the shed where you got the firewood. And the important part is there's this thing called the firewood job where the guy... Where someone orders a full a load of firewood. And... It's best to just do the firewood job before he even calls you. It's gonna save you some time, so you can just back it up here, stop, pull the parking brake, pull, push the throttle back to zero, the engine will sh shut off automatically. Uh, get out of the tractor. You can see the axe lying there, just open the flatbed and... Uh, you will have to uh, do a whole lot of um, l chopping to fill the trailer up to its maximum capacity. But 
the thing is the firewood job it pays very well you get 3200 marks just from the firewood job so that is incredible so by the end of that if you i mean if you fill the trailer to its to the brim you know so you fill that up do the firewood job about twice and you will have you have enough money already more than enough money to basically be prepared for the whole build mostly most of it so I'll just do that real quick chop the firewood and then get ready let me just empty my <laughs> let me just empty my uh, backpack real quick there you go that's the radio uh oh I shouldn't have done that where's the, where's the envelope so yeah and I'll get back to you when I have the firewood job completed So, once you've done that, you just drive back to home and, hold on, so you just drive back home once you've done that, this is what the trailer should look like when it's full, it just doesn't fill up anymore, basically, you can throw all the, uh, all the wood into it that you want, if it's full, it's full, so, just again, fire up the tractor, release the parking brake, if it detaches itself, just reattach it, drive forward a little bit, back up a little bit. Oh! Ah, it's having a little bit of trouble. There we go. In that case, just again, drive home because there's still some stuff to do. At best, just take the shortcut again through to your uncle's backyard so that your tractor's already parked the right way. Also, uh, what I personally forgot, but I will pick it up in just a little bit, take the diesel canister that's in the woodshed with you, because you will need it. Not necessarily for your Satsuma, but just for your diesel-powered vehicles. So, again, just park your tra tractor and get home. So, before I get the diesel canister for myself, I will show you one thing that's very important. You need to keep track of your expenses and, you know, some bookkeeping. And I know this is the very German way of doing it, but I believe it just works. First of all, just drink something. You need to take care of your home bodily, bodily needs, obviously. And then you have this notebook here. So I will show you some stuff. Press F to open it, then just click on the line to edit it. So, already ordered our AFR gauge plus the ratchet set that is 908 marker so just click on the next line what we need we need a few parts okay and please write it down the way I do because I have no I have my notepad here on my other monitor um, the next thing we have to do is when the firewood guy calls and you know he will call because he wants firewood and that might take a while that might not take a while yada 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 in order to save some time we can just drive to the firewood guy load the firewood get the money from him and then just on one trip get to the fletari repair shop that is just about a kilometer away from the firewood guy's house get some get the new spare parts for or not spare parts but new engine parts for the satsuma so that the car actually runs because most of the parts you saw in that garage like the alternator the starter the head gasket they will all be in bad condition because the car is just old and is worn down and stuff like that so um the recommended amount of money in my opinion is 8500 marks um, for a start so we already have 3988 but recommended is 8500 because it's just I will show you why so there are some parts you need to get and I just and we just checked we checked earlier that the oil pan is damaged, and it's not. That's good. We don't need to replace the oil pan just yet. So, there are some parts that 
you will need to be replaced, and I will write it down here. The alternator, starter, pistons, head gasket, uh, oops, head gasket, head, it's just head gasket, you know what I mean. Rocker shaft, gearbox, fuel pump, next is the clutch disc. And those all amount to about 5,819 marks. Hold on, let me just format that right. So, that's almost 6,000 marks done, gone already. I just, I hear, and I hear storm coming, so that's not that good. Anyway, the next part is do a trip to Tamo at the same time. Tamo's shop is in Perayavi, which is basically the main village of the whole map of Aliviesca. So what we do there is... Oops. What just happened? Okay, there you go. Drop the envelope into the, into the mailbox. You do not have to pay for the order just yet. So remember that. And then buy a couple of things. First of all, fuel, or, you know, fuel for, for, um, with the jerry cans. There is a gasoline jerry can in the garage, and of course the diesel jerry can, which I hope you picked up already from the woodshed. Then, we need an alternator belt. Come on, there you go brake fluid, oil, we need coolant, sorry, we need a new battery, we have one in the garage, but that one's dead, you can, you can, you can try to use it, but it's not gonna help a lot, optional is two-stroke fuel, for for example the moped or the boat stuff like that it's not it's not uh, you don't have to get the two-stroke fuel if you don't want to but it's recommended let's say that uh, spark plugs you need a pack of spark plugs uh, 12 times sausages because the sausages are the most efficient and effective food item basically you have some food in the fridge right now but the sausages are really the most effective. They kill all your hunger in one go. Anyway, one pack of cigarettes for relieving stress easily. And again, um, as far as I can tell, that's all. And that amounts to about, as far as I, ca I have calculated, 2150 marks. Now, I am playing on the experimental version, okay? I am on the experimental version. So, you might not be, but if you are, you need, you also need two headlight bulbs. And that racks up the price to, sorry, that racks up the price to about 2,200, uh, hold on, about 2,200 marks. So, in that case, we have already all of that. You're sitting at 8,000 marks already spent. So, that is that. That's why I say recommended amount of money is 8,500 mark. Because you will, well, eventually you'll have to pay your, um, your electricity bill, your phone bill, all that stuff. And if you don't, well, your phone's not gonna work, your electricity in the house is not gonna work, stuff like that. So, it is recommended that you have all this stuff written down now. What you need to do, what you need to get. And you can also just take the notepad with you, which I recommend as well, to write down what parts do you already have. And what parts might need to get replaced later, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so, that's that, that's that. Exactly. And eventually, eventually, 
Damo will call you and tell you your stuff is there, you can go pick it up. Now, you will have to pay 968 marka for that. The reason for that is that Damo adds 60 marks to the whole total for shipping. So, Damo pickup is 968 marka. That's that. For now, that's all we have here. I hope you have that written down as well. If you didn't and you think you can remember it, that's good. In that case, kudos to you. I always write that sort of shit down. So, take the notepad, put it in your tractor, because the tractor is going to be the main uh, means of transportation for now. Eventually you'll get the uncle's blue van that it said on the um, on the note, but for now you need the tractor. So, next thing again, you pick up jerry can from the garage, put it in your tractor, and as I said, I kind of forgot the diesel jerry can, so I gotta pick that up myself. So now that I've done that, all you have to do really is wait for the firewood guy to call you. As you can see, currently there is no darts on the map, that means you don't have any job yet, basically, that could get you any money. So, um, also, with the notepad, um, we will do the fire job once, firewood job, for the first time. You will only get 3,200 marks, which will then amount to you having about 7,288 marks. That means you will not be able to get all the parts. What you can do, uh, I mean, on your first run, that is, you know. However, what you can do is simple. You have all the stuff here, all the expensive stuff. What you have, you what you need to do is you you definitely must get all the parts from Fletari at the beginning. So all the like the alternator, starter, pistons, he head gasket, rocker shaft, gearbox, fuel pump, clutch disc, all that stuff. Get that. Spend those 5,819 marka there. Don't worry about that. Okay? Then you go to Temo and buy your stuff. And this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting. You'll have, you'll, you'll have only... With 7,288 marka, you have 1,300 something marka to spare. Which, again... Don't worry. Just buy the important stuff. Buy the sausages. Buy the cigarettes. Buy a case of beer if you have to. Only spend your 1300 marks. Spend it wisely. And then go back home. Drive back home. Wait for another firewood call. Pick up the firewood. Do the firewood job. And then... Um, well, don't do the firewood job just yet when you get the call. Wait for your opportunity. I I'll explain that later, basically. Don't worry. You know, I kind of goofed a whole lot in the uh, original recording of this one, too. The long and short of it is, what you want to do is as little trip as possible, you know, to maximize your efficiency. But... What I explain in part 2 then kind of completely contradicts uh, what I explain here. In the first part, uh, first of all, hi, this is editing Panzerfahr. I said something about, yeah, get as much, get, you know, do a second firewood job, blah, blah, blah. You can do what you want, basically. But what I, in part 2 then, um, recommended is something different than what I recommended in part 1. And I apologize for that. Anyway, <coughs> what you want to do is basically... You do your stuff, you bring, you buy the spare parts from Fleter, you put the, you get some stuff from Temo, and then, on your way back, you bring it all, everything home, and then you just take your tractor and look for wrecked cars. There are four cars scattered around the map, and just for convenience, I will show a map on screen right now, with all the locations where there are already cars discovered. But it's gonna be random. It's it's different for each save file, so you need to look at each and every single location there is. But, again, as I said, that's different for each save game. But, I will go into more detail in part 2. Now, back onto the original video. 
Alright, so, now you've woken up, you spent some time, and the firewood guy called you. He's just... Lord of firewood. Okay, and you got the dart now here. So, and it says, deliver firewood. So, what we do is just we jump into the tractor, we have all the stuff already in the tractor, and just make our way to his house. So yeah, I'll talk to you again real soon when I'm there. A uh, little intervention for me here now. You might want to be a little bit careful on the way there towards the firewood guy, because there are uh, railway crossings all across the map, mainly on the dirt roads, again, as I said. Um, if you hear the train coming, get out of the way. That train will kill you. It is fast, it is heavy. So, now we're there. Um, this is the house of the firewood guy. So, you kind of... You would normally want to reverse into there, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna go forward in here. He's gonna greet you, can greet back, and you want to park your tractor just around here in the driveway. How this works is just stop, pull the parking brake up, and pull your hand throttle down to about 1500 rpm and then put left click on the rear hydraulics so that the tractor trailer starts to tilt backwards so to unload the wood of course you have to open the flatbed and as soon as he As soon as he starts spiking and finish, you can pick up the money. You can also, of course, knock him out and pick up the freaking boost, but, you know, for the sake of this, let's not do that. So, to retract the trailer, just right-click twice for it to go back down. And then you can be on your merry way to, uh, yeah, to uh, Fletaris. Also, yes, I'm pissing right now, simply because my urine meter is a little high. Anyway. The trailer is back down, fine, left click once and you're back into neutral position. So now, close the door, get back into driving mode and turn down the hand throttle to idle. Don't push it all the way down, you kind of want to be revving at a little over 600 RPM so that the tractor, it's just, so that it just doesn't stall. Remember, push down on the parking brake and there you go. Just follow the main road now, uh, and you'll land in Lope, where Fletari's repair shop is. But, be careful, you might encounter your drunken cousin, who's in a green car, and he's not gonna stop for you, so you have to get out of the way, or you're killing him. And if you kill him, you're gonna land in jail for five days. Which, uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want to. Also, be careful, because there's gonna be another railway crossing, and, uh... As I already said in the edit, <laughs> that train will kill you. So yeah, see you in Lope. Alright, welcome to the little village of Lope. We have about three and a half houses as far as I can tell here. And there is Fletari's repair shop. You can see there are some red cars, there's a Ferndale, which is based on a 1970 Dodge Coronet. Anyway, what you want to do is, of course, pull over. Park like this, kind of, so that your flatbed is close to the... So that your flatbed is close to the entry of the shop. And just get out of there. Ah, there you go, without any glitching, preferably. Anyway, now, since there are no parts installed in your engine yet, in the Satsuma, all of the parts are available for purchase at Fletaris. It's a weird game logic, but I mean, come on, I'll take it. Again, be a little bit aware, a Fletari only has opened between 8am and 4pm on Monday, between Monday and Friday. That's what it says here. However, he's there. Just tell him to shut the fuck up, honestly. Um, so, take the note. Well, we, 
I don't need the notepad. I okay. If you don't remember, just take the notepad out of your tractor, open it up. What do you need? So, what do we need? Of course, we need an alternator. We need the starter. We need the four pistons. Piston one, piston two, piston three, piston four. You want a new you want a new head gasket, really. You want a new rocker shaft, a new gearbox. What else? A fuel pump. And a new clutch disc. And it will come out at exactly 5,819 marks, as I predicted. However, what I forgot, and I just noticed that now, is... Well, actually, no. Look, those are parts that you don't really need to replace immediately. The crankshaft, well, maybe, but not really. The oil pan, only if there's a big hole in it. Same with the engine block itself. As you can see, it's a little expensive. The water pump, it's there for cooling the engine. If the engine runs hot, then... Jesus Christ, just friggin' drive slowly. You know, that's basically it. Eventually, you will have to replace every single part of the engine. In this case, there's only four parts left that haven't been replaced, which is good. You can note that down in your notepad. And that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I have the parts in the flatbed, and I want you to do that too. Just for sake of keeping everything clean. So, purchase them. And I'm just gonna pick them up with the mod here, so just just do this. There you go. This, this, this. And I think there's a... No? Okay. So... Yes, there's your cousin. He's actually driving quite slow. I wonder why. Anyway, fuel pump, rocker shaft, head gasket, piston 3, gearbox, clutch disc, starter, 1, 2, 3, and the alternator. There you go. They're all in the flatbed now. And we can cross those out out of the notepad. So let me just find that. Take the notepad, press F. So, what do we need? So we have already gotten the alternator, the head, the pistons, and the starter. We have a new rocker shaft, we have a gearbox, and we have a fuel pump. And we also have a new clutch disc, so the only parts that might need replacing at some point... ...are... ...water pump... ...oil pan... ...engine block... ...and the crankshaft. And those, I can't do the math right now in my block, uh, in my head. However, there you go. Everything is replaced except for those four parts. Which is very good. So just do this. Escape out and... Okay. Yeah, that might happen too. I don't know why that has happened, but... It's a weird, it's weird physics, okay? So... Where's the notepad? There it is. Don't lose that notepad. If you do, you're f quite fucked. Honestly. So, the fuel... Yeah, there's the diesel jerry can. Everything is fine. So you can now basically... Hey, wait a second. Ah, also... Also, if some if some stupid stuff like that with the physics happens, also check under your, underneath your trailer. If any parts have fallen out, like the head gasket, for example. So, let me just do a check real quick if everything is fine and dandy. Which it seems to be. So, we can now make our trip to Deimos shop. But you need to hurry up a little because, well, time does... Uh, time does go faster than in real life, of course, in this game. Anyway, let's go. You might, you want to take the highway now, turn right here, and take the next left. The tr it's faster, relatively speaking. However, also be careful a little. There you go. There is the possibility that you will encounter a police checkpoint. If you do, drive past the first police officer. He's got a radar gun. You're not going to speed in a tractor. Come on. Stop. Before the second uh, second police officer, take the breathalyzer test and just keep going. 
If you don't, you're instantly wanted for a jail sentence. Anyway, turn left here. And just follow the road until you're in the main city of Perayabi. intersection that leads into Perayevi. Check if there's any traffic behind. None there. And then you can just just get in there. Now, you want to park your tractor at the gas station. Which is right there. The gas station belongs to Demo's shop. So don't worry about having to pay separately. It's all the same establishment. The fuel cap of the tractor is on the right hand side, so you want to slowly just get in here like this and park at the diesel pump. Oops, not like that. I'm glad this shit doesn't explode when you run into it. Anyway, park it here like this. Turn Pull on the parking brake, obviously, and get out of the tractor. So, there's a gasoline can, of course, and then the fuel fuel diesel can. So, what you want to do is you want to put place the cap can like this, open it by pressing F, do the same with the diesel can, but first you want to, of course, again, open that, close the door, scroll down to unscrew the cap of the um, diesel fuel tank on the tractor and fu fully fuel the tractor. Again, depending on how much the fuel costs, that kind of limits what you can get on this initial trip at Tamos. So l t keep keep an eye on the marker counter, on the, on the, on the fuel pump. Close it by scrolling up until it doesn't scroll any farther, and then again fuel the diesel can. And um, I don't know why I just opened the door. You can just eat the freaking can into the flatbed. So we just spent 184 marks on the diesel alone. Add to that about 93 marks for the gasoline. So that's already about 300 marks spent just on fuel. So, shut up. So we're at the 277.15 marker. You already want to pay that so that you know you, okay, I have 1092 marks left. The first thing you need to buy, obviously, is all. The oh. It's all the uh, sausages. So you're currently at 131 marks 40. Next, you might want to get some milk if your thirst is already very high. No, not milk, sorry. Whatever, never mind that. So, the next parts. So, let's see, we're at 131 marks 40. We definitely need an alternator belt. That's already at 426 marks. We can get two light bulbs. Um, oh yeah, that's only if you're an experimental, okay? I forgot to tell you that. I'm playing, again, I'm playing on experimental mode. You may be not. If you are not on experimental, you're saving some money here because on the stable version, there are no light bulbs. The, light, the, the headlights, they just work. Anyway, we're at about half 500 marks. Can get new spark plugs. 
get a new oil filter. I forgot to mention that, by the way, earlier. Because the old oil filter is just shit. <laughs> and now, so let's see what you can get. Some more brake and clutch fluid, four of that. Yes, uh, some uh, motor oil. So we're at 100, 929 marks. So, you have about 100 marks to spare and nothing you can get from that. Actually, there is. Milk. So just get some milk to relieve your thirst. And 973 marks. You have 119 marks left. So that's that. Pick up your motor oil. Pick up the shopping bag. And yo yo yo, and just put it into the flatbed. So, again, you next thing, definitely get to the notepad. And so, get to the notepad wherever that is. Hold on. Oh, that's a good question. Where the fuck is my notepad? Oh, also, well, of course, you might have already done that. I totally forgot it. Put the envelope into the post box. There you go. I totally forgot that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm wondering where on earth is the notepad? There it is. Okay, I found it. So. Okay, uh, make sure you don't lose your notepad, honestly. It's just. It's a pain in the ass to find because it's such a small item. Anyway, open it. So, what did we get? We did move the envelope. Uh, we did put the envelope in. We did get fuel. So, what did we also get? We got an alternator belt. We got brake fluid. We got oil. What we did also get was a spark plugs. And we also got the cigarettes and the sausages. So the only thing that's still missing, also we got the headlight bulbs, so which is good. So the only thing that is missing is the coolant and the battery, which is great because that's only two items. Okay, three items if you put the, cr uh, the, the two stroke fuel in. But that's great. We got most of the stuff already that you need. And of course, the battery and the coolant is only for getting the car started, but we're very far away from that. So, again, there's not a lot that's still done. So, the AFR gauge and the ratchet set are also already mount, uh, ordered, and the order is already shipped. Or getting shipped. We have already gotten the money. So the only thing that we need now is the water water pump, oil pan, engine block and crankshaft and well, it's not that much anyway. So for the coolant, the coolant is about, I, I mean the battery is 500 marks. So 500 marks for the battery plus you want two bottles of coolant. So I actually don't remember the price for those but I'll just go with 700 marks for two uh, of coolant. So, that's already 1200 marks again that you need for the coolant and the battery and for this stuff just don't worry about it right now. And again, of course, demo pickup is 968 marks which in total then goes to about 2200 marks. So we can also just delete this line right here if you write it down. So, we need about, in total, 2,200 marks. 2,200 marks. Total needed. There you go. That's how you keep your notes, and that's incredibly effective. Because I keep those notes myself. As long as I don't lose my notepad, that is. Anyway, close out, escape. There you go. Keep your notepad in the, tra uh, in the tractor. There you go. That shit just falls. Where does it go? There it is, right behind the radio. Jesus Christ, it's a little sneaky. Um, anyway, so that's it for now. We have most of the parts for the preparation. And now you can start making your way home. And the way home, of course, it's its own little thing. Because we got to pick up some more stuff, of course. But 
I will show you that in the next video on in this guide series, which is picking up wheels and tires. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, of course, you can hit the like button, you can subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but, you know, yada, 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 all that stuff. I have a Twitch stream. I have a Twitch channel where I stream my summer car, Automobilista, whatnot. Uh, and I actually got to a Twitch affiliate just a couple days ago, which is amazing for me because now I can actually earn some, not a living, but some money, especially in those hard times. So if you want to support me, you can subscribe there, you can donate generally. You know the drill. Of course, if you dislike this guide, you can also hit the dislike button and also then tell me what I can do better. Constructive criticism is important. With that rant over, I hope you liked this first part, preparing your car build in my summer car. So yeah, that's me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.